Hello everyone, how are you doing today? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade your RAM or replace your RAM for your uh, HP laptop. In this case, it's an HP uh, Omen laptop. It comes with an Intel iCore 7 8th generation. And this one has a GPU, which is an NVIDIA GTX 1050, I believe. So I'm not going to get into details what it has, what it doesn't. So I'm just going to show you guys. It comes with an 8 gig RAM. So we're going to upgrade or remove the RAM. It's really easy. As easy as it says right on the cover. Right here it says easy to remove back panel, to remove expand RAM or hard drive. So let's see how easy it is. So let's get into it. First thing first, when you flip it over, you're going to see two screws on the bottom. One on the side, one on here, one in the corner back, one on the other side of the corner back, and two right at the back side by the IOs. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove all the screws, even these two. These two are going to be the longest one, and the rest are the same size. So let's go ahead and remove all those. So there we go, we have all these three, four, five, six small screws and two long ones. So once you got all this removed, you're gonna find yourself a guitar pick or any opening tool. I prefer a guitar pick, it just feels in my hand really easy so it doesn't stick out like a pen. So you're gonna grab this one and you wanna stick the guitar pick gently right between the bottom and the top cover. Make sure you don't just go right there just like that and you want to twist it just like that is softly do that all around in the front to the side make sure you hit those clicks to the back on the left and right side both sides Once we did all that, then you want to do it, stick it right under the thunderbolt right there. And you want to lift it right in there too. There we go. Now, you want to feel like there is something in the middle is holding it. It's just some kind of clip in there holding it. So. Once you got the corners, everything loose up, you wanna grab your hand in this side and you wanna grab it on the other side. And you wanna pull it out. Move it around, you wanna feel, and it's just gonna come out. You just have, don't force it too much, just do like that and it will just come out. And that's the clip which is right in here. This tiny clip that holds it from the, beside the plastic. So you just wanna loosen up this one right here. All right, this is the bottom cover. If you want to clean the mesh right here, you can just clean the dust, everything. Now, down here, is if you got the battery. We don't need to remove the battery if the power is off. You don't need to remove it. In case if you want to remove it, to be extra cautious, remove one, two, three, four screws, and the battery will just come up. So that's the only thing. But I'm just going to leave the battery in. There's no point. Right under this cover here, this is just to cover the painted kind of black so when you look through it so you don't see the RAM or anything. So pretty much, I would really recommend you guys to remove this, even not put it in. So the reason is because just leave it in that side, don't put it on top because that way when the fans are sucking in the air so you can actually ventilate every other component. So down here we got the RAM. So the RAM is right here. As you can see, there's a two DIMM RAM space here and there's only one RAM occupied. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna pull these two triggers apart and the RAM is gonna come in 45 degree angle. You're just gonna pull it out. This one is an eight gig RAM. So DDR4, eight gig. So to put it back in, just put it in 45 degree angle. Make sure the notch is facing in the right direction. If you try to put it the other way around, it will not go through. So it must go 
this way around. You put in 45 degree angle and just hold it from here. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Hold it like that and from the middle just push it down. And you're gonna hit those two clicks. Same thing, if you have an extra RAM you wanna put it in, and this one is a DDR3, it's not gonna go in, same thing, but it's actually a little bit shorter, the pins, so it's not gonna match. You're gonna grab the new RAM in and just put it the same way that we put it here on top of this one. Sometimes if you put the two of the two RAMs in and after you boot up, it probably takes about 10 to 15 seconds to detect and to arrange the RAM speed in the BIOS, so don't worry about it. And pretty much that's it. That's how you upgrade, replace your RAM. So after that, you just want to grab the bottom cover, put it right on top, press the middle a little bit, just go down and then press the front, press the front, the side, the back, the I.O. side, make sure you hit those clicks. And pretty much you're done. Now what you want to do, you want to put the two screws, two big ones right back here, and the rest all around it. I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, click that thumbs up button, and I'll appreciate if you guys subscribe. And I'll take just any requests from you guys. Just leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.